Hello my dear students, welcome back to this video. Now in this video, we would um, work more on this registration section, okay, and we're going to add some little validation to it. So right about now, I am going to go to register, and I'm going to add the name attribute to this input field. So I would say name, full name, or I'm just gonna leave that as name. And then this, the name would be username. And this, the name would be password. Great. Now, if you like, you can add an ID for the label. Okay. But I'm just going to leave it that way. And I wouldn't want to use this way. The unsubmit um, document event i'm just going to use an id i'm going to call this form or red form okay great now for this instead of this function i'm going to say document dot on okay submit watch for any submit event tied to this id then run this function make sure you pass in the event okay and then prevent the default behavior of the submit form then run axios as opposed to request this time around with a route we haven't created but would soon create so we call this register post okay and then we should pass a data Okay, so we should create a let variable and then we'll call this data. Okay, and this should be this event or this selector which we are working with. Serialize its input. Okay, and this is the data we're passing from here, right here. Now, when this is sending, it does two things. It then returns success, which we are going to accept with the fat arrow function, or it returns an error, which we are going to catch with the fat arrow function too, with the error variable or error parameter. Okay, so let's console log this to see that we are having it all nice and good. Console log error also now why I like to do this bit by bit is that we are humans and we're prone to mistake okay so it's good for us to make this mistake beforehand and debug them than making them in the future where we get get confused about what might actually be causing the problem now we also need to create a post route real quick Okay, we didn't create one, but we used one. So we are going to have an error if we reload that page because we don't have this created. So back to the odd controller. I'm going to say public function. We have this right here. I'm just going to return. Um, hello. Great. So go back. Reload all nice go to the console try to send this we are having a problem right there guys because our form is reloading okay so let's try to see if we can fix this this is form id reg form reg form event prevent document on select Hmm, everything seems to be fine. I wonder why we are having this. Let's see. As you say, the moment we get here, just up it something, up it something, and reload. So let's see. Okay. Hmm, I think this should be type of submit. Let's just see this in action. Hmm. So bottom line is that we are not getting this 
okay so because for the section guys I think I miss write that or spell that we don't have the script okay so I'm gonna put that script right away and we're having that okay so that's good and we see right here we have data hello good okay so what I'm gonna do right now is take this a lot off okay and then I would want to show us about this in the network provider bar okay then when we say add the post request look at the parameters are sending in okay the payload right here which is the data is sending in is actually serializing this okay and the response is receiving that serialization we see is because of this serialization we see right here okay passing it to the actions post which has set two parameters the route and the inputs we are sending to search parameters so right about now i'm quickly going to do create more like a validation for this okay so if you know about laravel validation before fine if you don't please just pay attention okay and you're going to learn it so i'm going to create two associative array kind of thing and we're going to have rules for the first we're going to say name and we're going to say required okay and should be a string and should have a maximum input capacity of 120 words and then we should have we should have username pretty much the same we should have password okay but this time around i would want the password to have a minimum of six okay and then we should have email okay and this time around we don't need minimum for this and instead of string we should pass email great now for messages okay we are going to create a custom message for this now, if you know how to do this with laravel fine if you don't please still pay attention we are going to say name dot required okay we're going to say this field is required okay and for the name dot string okay if it's not a string we'll say this field is invalid okay and if it's too long name dot max we are going to say this field is too long okay great now we're just going to duplicate this for the username okay and i'm quickly going to change this to username okay and we're going to duplicate this also for the password okay password and we're going to add a validation for the minimum i will say this please enter a more secured password okay and lastly we're just going to duplicate this for email we have required we have string we have maximum okay for email and lastly we have email for email okay then i would say please please enter a valid email address great now uh, next thing we want to do is to create a validation variable validation variable okay or validator variable whichever one you would like to call it so i'm going to call it validator and i'm going to say validator okay valid data this time around we want to use it okay this would be a capital v we want to use the facade okay 
and then we're going to say make a validation okay passing all the requests okay then also passing the rules and the messages great so right about here we should also pass in the request okay and then we want to say an if condition or if statement if validator okay fails it's a boolean it's called it also re always return true or false if it don't just return all good okay and if the validation fails we would want to return a response okay precisely a json response okay and we want to pass that as an associative array having the validator variable we created and this time it's going to have errors i always like to send a status code to the browser okay so we have 422 which is a kind of like on an authentication fails error so required 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 we have all of this in place let's go test this and see so right about now you see we have 422 and we have this group of errors errors name username password email is all required name username password i think we didn't add an email field to this registration form okay so I'm just gonna do that real quick name username should I have email right here okay and just to test that this form is working we should just enter something okay real quick and send and then we see that username field is required okay password please enter a more secure password and email this field is required i think we have issues with the name username email password name let's see this name okay this wasn't spelled correctly username email password okay now let's go try this again send okay now we have password please enter a more secure password and let's just try this i think we should have only email validation error please enter a valid email and when we try to enter something that looks valid you see we have all good great now on the next video we'll start looking at these errors in the network bar and start appealing them right in our html document okay or in our view so see you in the next video Bye bye